Hi everyone, welcome back here in Disneyland Paris. Welcome back here on my channel. It's lunchtime and that means that it's time for a new food review. We are in Disney Village and this week Brasserie Rosalie opened for the public. Uh, so time for a new food review. Time to try out Brasserie Rosalie. Let's go! Okay, here it is, in the Disney Village, right on the place where the former Café Mickey was, in front of the balloon and on the other side we have Earl of Sandwich. Here it is, Brasserie Rosalie, part of the big village transformation, so you can do takeout. Um, which we are not gonna do today, but let's have a quick look uh, at the takeout menu. So it's sandwiches and crock, and of course, you can have a little breakfast over here also. But that's takeout. So Let's go inside. So here we go. Let's have a look at the menu when you are dining in. So it's the concept is a typical French uh, brasserie, and all dishes are, of course, mostly typically French. Um, so there's a wide selection of seafood. It's uh, not cheap. It's quite expensive, but. Hey, seafood is expensive and so, okay, here there is a wide selection of seafood, something from the oyster bar, seafood platters, where this one is the most expensive but also the biggest one, the Rosalie platter with uh, oysters on it and a lobster of course. Here is a lunch menu also, but only available from Monday to Friday. A kids menu with mussels and french fries or just chicken nuggets. And on the other side you can eat a la carte. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I think I go for this one, the beef tartare with french fries and maybe we also try something from the oyster bar. Well, that's a good start, what a great place, we are sitting over there and look at our view. We have a great view here on Lake Disney and the balloon. Wow. So it's brand new of course, but it's a great cozy place to spend uh, your evening and having your dinner or lunch over here. Well, hello, have a look at this one. We went for a seafood platter as a starter. Something from the oyster bar and browns on it. So normally this one is for one, but um, we are going to share it. Uh, this platter is 30 euros, so I told you already it's not cheap, but looks great, no? And Laura went for this one, smoked salmon as a starter. 
and of course we are going to have our seafood platter together with a glass of champagne and that's a disappointment because this one is 14 euro in the park you are paying 15 but you can keep your glass as a souvenir and I'm not quite sure but I think there is more champagne in the park's glass than in this one but I'm not gonna complain about it because we have our seafood so that was a great start what a great seafood platter so before we are going to have our main dish let's have a look around in this place and I really have to say it's a great place guys it's great atmosphere so it's uh, it has the look of a typical French brasserie like you have them in Paris a great bar over here a really nice and cozy place to have your dinner but um, I can expect that it is more crowded in the evening because now it's uh, three o'clock so um, it's uh, very quiet now but in the evening it will be more crowded but still it's a great place let's have a look over here this is the oyster bar with all the seafood on it so when you're ordering seafood platter they are making it here all fresh for you wide selection of oysters great lobster over here wow this place has the potential to become one of my favorites okay let's go back to our place and wait for our main dish and here we go here we go for our main dish i went for this one the normandy beef tartare with of course french fries laura just went for a little dessert the creme brulee over here and sophie went for the chicken with gratin dauphinois and chicken is of course with mushrooms don't know if you can see but it's a mushroom sauce okay let's give this a try finished we just have to pay the bill and you can do it by scanning the QR code on the table and you have the ability to pay with Apple Pay or Google Pay so you can just pay with your smartphone split the bill and get a receipt in 10 seconds or you can just call your waiter and that's what I gotta ask our waiter for the bill and here it is and I told you guys already that it isn't the cheapest place in the resort our total amount of 177 euro well and what did we get we uh, had some drinks over here some Coke Zero we have the seafood platter uh, which we shared at 29 euro 50 we have uh, the smoked salmon Lara smoked salmon at 19 euro 50 and then over here the two glasses of champagne way too expensive 14 euro for a glass uh, we have a way better deal in the parks because the parks you are paying 15 euro and you can uh, have your glass as a souvenir so this one is way too expensive um, yeah I got a beer over here it's 10 euro for uh, a 50 cent liter draft and then here my tartar beef at 24 euro 50 my ch the Sophie's chicken supreme at 25 euro and then Laura's Crème Brûlée at 9 euro 50 makes a total of 177 euro 50 um, without annual passport discount but there is no discount for annual passes or shareholders so total amount 177 euro 50 here at Brasserie Rosalie
just before I leave um, you can not only sit downstairs but there is also some space upstairs here I can show you guys around look at this mirror cool and here we can have a look on the chandelier over here which is a really nice one so normally it's also moving uh, up and down but it's not right now but uh, if it's moving it's a, a really nice effect and as you can see there is also a seating area over here with a great view on Lake Disney uh, so much reflection in the window but you can see the panoramic balloon also another bar okay that's it for today let's go downstairs again and leave this beautiful Brasserie Rosalie I really love the place so so that's it that's it for our lunch at Brasserie Rosalie um, we entered the place at uh, I think 3 o'clock or 3.30 something like that and uh, it's now 5.30 it's dark already so we were in the place for two hours and um, what can I say about this uh, new brasserie here in Disney Village um, first things first it's a very nice place it's very cozy to sit there um, it has a great atmosphere it really has the atmosphere of a, a Persian uh, brasserie um, so if you just want to drink something having your breakfast over there having a lunch or dinner it's a really cozy place you can uh, just sit and relax um, great bar great uh, seafood bar also like you have seen in the video uh, it's a great it's a great place to have uh, seafood it's only I think besides uh, the Cape Cod uh, restaurant it's uh, it's the it's the only place where you can have seafood in the parks uh, especially a seafood platter like uh, like the one we had with the oysters on it um, quite expensive but it's really worth a try and in my opinion the prices are a little too high to be a brasserie it's uh, it's more a restaurant than a, a brasserie concept because the prices are that high and um, but still, it's it's great quality. Uh, you will have value for money. It's great food, great atmosphere. So when you want to have a cozy, nice dinner, a tete a tete, Brasserie Rosalie here is your place. Also, a very great view on Lake Disney. I can imagine uh, during during summer, in summertime, it will be a great place to spend your evening on the terrace. Um, so. This place has so much potential and it's worth a try when you are visiting Disneyland Paris. So that's it for now. If this video was useful for you, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you real soon here in Disneyland Paris. Bye.